Hello and welcome back to RimWorld. We are playing as the Covenant of Impani and attempting to finish our um, initial construction of the base here, which is uh, definitely a work in progress. Uh, let's go ahead and try to annihilate this car so that we can build a proper wall to finish enclosing this area and making this into a room. And then this is just waiting on the moisture pump to be able to pump out all the whatever needs to be pumped out from there. All right, we can turn that off. Let's go ahead and build a granite wall. It's gonna have to go all the way along to here. And then at the, I think that's the midway point, we're gonna build a granite door for now. And then the thing we wanna do is make sure that we have cleared the area from building a roof at least until we are done with this current growth. So uh, I do wanna go up here, make sure we just have that selected. And I want to not allow future planting so that when that's done, we can harvest it and then slowly convert this to a room. The other thing I wanna do is make sure that we are set to chop some wood because I don't think we have any wood, even though there's this massive um, base here. I also need to extend this a little bit down this way so they have a spot to kind of funnel in here until this is all completely taken care of. All right, let's go ahead and unpause, make sure that this is still um, happening here. Looks like we are constructing as quick as we're uh, doing that. Let's go ahead and research auto door. I think that needs to be the next thing we have on our agenda there and then i do want to uh probably not hold that open anymore because we're going to want this to hold open instead and have them come over in this direction i do want this to finish sooner than later um i am very worried about this moisture pump um until we get this finished they have a kind of a place to hide over here which is less than ideal uh let's go ahead and build the standing lamp uh, we do need to build some lamps in this room as well. Probably get to a point where we could remove this stuff and stop wasting time on planting that. All right, that's probably good enough. Go ahead and get that planted. Let's delete that. Flooring wise, let's fill that with concrete. And then zone wise, let's make sure that uh, inside we expand to include this space ultimately this space as well but it's not fully enclosed yet i don't want them running outside of this though uh we got to leave this open so they build this turret once that's done we can go ahead and close that off hopefully anfisa wakes up relatively soon because we certainly can use her help getting all this stuff constructed the other thing I, oh, we got a siege coming. That is not gonna be great. Let's go ahead and clear this. This is not outside, this is inside. All right, where's the siege happening? Looks like right above us. It actually does not look terribly bad. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's, there's people. They got some decent weapons. There's definitely a possibility we survive that i'm waiting for Anfisa to wake up hoping hoping she can assist us with this looks like it's filling the room with toxic gas do i care is the question or do we let them just exhaust all the uh all the toxic gas shells oh they're attacking now why does he need a treatment what what happened to him all right can we get our animals to attack maybe crap Kill the, kill that guy. He's got grenades. Oh crap! What are you doing in there? All right, come on, run out, run through here. We still got grenades getting thrown, or are those just tox shells? Those are tox grenades. I am very much less worried about that. All right, can we kill at least some more of these? And Fisa, you're not woken up yet, huh? All right, there they go. All right, hopefully we can save Paprika. Uh, let's rescue all of our people. What about this guy? Undergrounder, incapable of firefighting. 
Uh, he is good at medical, which is something that would be very useful right now. All right, let's go ahead and unrestrict everything just to make sure we can pick everything up. What's going on with you? Toxic buildup? I hope that comes down. I'm guessing it will. You can go ahead and capture this guy. All right, let's rescue Caro. Uh, Luna, you are not doing too great. Let's haul Paprika back over here. What is down here? Why do we have all those? Um, oh, was that one of our animals that got wounded? Isidoros, you are... I don't know what you're doing. All right, you're going to tend to Luna, which is fine. Shot off fresh. Okay. So you lost a toe. Let's go here. I want to make sure we're opening these doors. Right, you're not medical skilled. All right, well, this is certainly less than ideal, but at least we did not lose our um, moisture pump over here. It's still working on expanding. Once we can close that off, we'll be in much better shape. I, I would like to be able to close this off too, like be able to build here, but not not quite yet. All right, Jiang, you are sleeping, but what you need to do is tend to Isidoros. You have extreme blood loss, extreme toxic buildup. All right, our poor Paprika bleeding to death slowly. Hey, Anfisa woke up. Perfect. Isidoros is tending as well. Everybody should be good now. We need to do some cleaning though. This is uh this is not great. Well, that's not overly surprising. Uh let's go ahead and convert this prisoner. I think ultimately we're going to want to smelt down some of the stuff they're wearing. Let's try to clean up this room a little bit just because it's so filthy. It's going to affect mood. That should mostly... Up. <laughs> okay, never mind. He got partway through and then said, never mind, I'm not cleaning anymore. All right, much better. Room quality is significantly improved, which in turn should make people happier in general. Although, looks like you are going to be giving us a little bit of a hard time. Oh, I don't want to equip a machine pistol. That would be terrible. All right, let's rescue Chalaki. Hopefully you will be okay. All right, with a little bit of luck, we could harvest this rice. And then make some kibble, which would be kind of nice for our animals that are starving. Although Luna is also starving. Her consciousness is falling pretty low. We should probably... Do a little prioritization of feeding. Although I'm a little concerned because I think it's going to try to feed her. Um, oh no, you're going for the package survival meal. Very nice. All right, are we good here? I think uh, granite block wise. All right, you apparently still need some treatment. Speaking of which, uh, we probably should haul all this stuff before. Oh, we could just reinstall these mortars. All right, let's remove the roof area here and then let's reinstall some of these traps over to this area. That way they can get bloodied up while trying to enter. But for sure, we need to haul this food back. I don't know if the auto rain is going to come. There it is. A little psychic soothe action that arrived just at the right time. Cargo pods, get some, get some milk. So... Those are all like super positive things. I'm, I'm glad that's working that way. Cool. So you got a little dementia from the toxic buildup. Hoping that starts to come down. The toxic buildup that is. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this deep drill for now. And I'm also going to suspend this granite block. I feel like we got some stuff we got to take care of. Definitely can trade a lot of this uh, human leather. Now, they spoil in 20 hours, so hopefully do a little hauling. Maybe we could do a little outside strip so we don't have to bring it back into the base and then have to haul it out again. Now let's make sure everybody has a weapon equipped. Oh, we had a lot of weapons get dropped on the ground. It right, looks like there's nowhere to haul these meals right now. But I definitely would like to reinstall these mortars over here eventually. Ah, here we go. Like we're finally getting around to hauling this stuff. 
Oh, there's no empty spot. All right, well, let's do some, some cooking over here if we can. Try to free up some space. And you actually can probably... Yeah, you can get some kibble made. Uh, let's do advanced lights because that'll lower the cost. How much electricity they use. All right, there we go with the removal. All right, should be able to reinstall that there now. Install this over here. All right, get some proper hauling done over here. Uh, can we haul that out of there? Yeah, I just want to be able to store the rice over there. All right, this toxic buildup hopefully is going down. Although it's still quite serious for a lot of our people. Probably shouldn't have sta stood in that uh, toxic area as long as I did. But, you know, it is what it is. All right, we got one block uncovered here. Let's go ahead and build that. And then hopefully it'll expand at least two more times. And then we can get that closed. Well, actually, all we need is one more to get this closed off. And then once we have that, we just got to worry about this little guy here. And we're good. Maybe not good, but better. All right, human meat going away. Hopefully we can use some of it to make kibble. Let's just haul as much rice as possible up here. All right, we can't make mortars, but we already have them because we stole them. It looks like we had some, some stuff freed up over here. Uh, I am going to deconstruct these because we could use the materials from it. All right, I imagine we can feed these guys sooner than later. Come on. You know what I didn't do? I did not manage drug policies. So let's make a new drug policy and let's schedule psych IT once every three days. If mood is below 50, let's have everybody keep two in inventory. We'll just uh, turn this off. We'll leave this on just because I think one of our people has a go juice thing. All right, so every three days, if mood is below 50, use Psych IT. All right, that should be good. Hopefully. All right, somebody can haul this kibble over to the animals. They need to eat. But well, it didn't take long to uh, rip through that. Oh, boy, that's almost gone. All right, wildlife-wise, let's keep taming the elephants. And then let's try to take out anything that's no risk or low risk uh rhinoceroses are definitely not on that list but they would provide a lot of food they could see this ending which is quite unfortunate uh let's go ahead and haul this psych it nobody's taking the time to rebuild this we could deconstruct this now that we don't need it need one more granite wall right here and then we're good so many boomalo but we are using the chem fuel pretty uh pretty frequently. All right, we're finally hauling some of this stuff to the garbage, which is great. Certainly taking a sweet time to get uh get to this point. We have not replanted anything here or here. So I'm really, really hoping we get around to that. See if we can knock out another couple high quality beds and keep expanding. Because we're gonna need more in the future anyway. Oh, there we go. Excellent bed. It did not take long at all. Slowly working on converting crusts here. All right, as soon as these are harvested, we're actually ready to convert this into a proper bedroom. I think this is going to end up being our, our temple area. Because that's what we need right now. All right, looks like we tamed a bunch of elephants. So we will uh, keep them outside. But if we can tame them to be war elephants, that would be amazing. It's Boomalopas and war elephants. Ah, uh, you know. Well, there we go. Hungry pet animals. Well, that's not too surprising given that we're not actually feeding them and we still have not replanted anything. Hopefully we get around to replanting. All right, some of these drugs are being harvested. Looks like the wheat is, uh, or the rice is finally being harvested, but... We got to get to the replanting part of it because that's not happening yet. All right, let's reinstall this stuff down here because we know this is where they're going to be entering. Falling. More boomalopes. Man, when these die, this is going to be a huge problem because there's so many of them. It's going to be a chain, chain reaction. Everything's going to get lit up. 
Uh, we could deconstruct this wooden wall and replace it with granite. Hopefully sooner than later. I don't know why our people have not begun actually planting anything yet. There's some planting taking place here, but man, that needs to be a little bit of a higher priority. Speaking of which, let's see. I mean, it is number one priority for a decent chunk of people. All right, here we go. I actually spending time doing this now. All right, mech cluster. Nothing. Oh, uh, auto mortar. But we got 15 days before we got to worry about that. Let's disallow all this stuff so we don't accidentally trigger that. It actually doesn't look too terrible. Do we see any shields over there? I'm not seeing any uh, energy shields. We might be able to outmortar these guys. I don't know. We'll see. Definitely got to get this food planted first, though. All right, I think we're past this. Let's let's not waste any more time doing that. Build those walls. Oh, come on. Stop fighting each other. All right, we're getting some some proper food replanting going on here. Not quick enough. These boomalopes are going to be not in good shape. We have to get some of this wealth off the map, too. Anybody who has a normal assault rifle, we need to switch them out with a good assault rifle. All right, you got a normal one. Let's go ahead and equip the good one. Although that percentage is not great. We do have to start smelting some of this stuff down, too. Go ahead and turn this on. Maybe we can start breaking some of this stuff down, lower, lower some of the wealth value a little bit. It's a five-day countdown. This is a 14-day initiation. All right, do we have... Yeah, these are not unrestricted. Okay. That's considered outside. So we need to get that solved. Uh, let's clear allow area. Let's not let that be outside. All right, looks like we got some planting going on, which is good because everybody's going to starve if we don't. All right, we're finally smelting some of this garbage over here. And we just drastically increased the amount of elephants we have. So my guess is we're going to have to plant more food. But we haven't quite got there yet. Let's haul the psychoid leaves inside. All right, we have successfully converted him. Let's go ahead and set him to recruit. Hopefully we'll have some luck with that. Uh, I am thinking we also need to make some shells. Can we not make also some EMP? Grenades would be a good idea as well. All right, so that's that. That'll enclose that. Doesn't solve this piece here. Can I build one of these there? I can. So that'll finish that off real quick. And then I can move this in here instead, which will be great. Another mech cluster. Psychic Droner. Cool, cool, cool. Well, this one at least doesn't have any of the weird stuff. Ah, the, good. We're actually researching this because that's what I need to make. All right, this is all excellent quality, which is fantastic. Go ahead and get this set up here. We could build another copy. Actually, we could move this over just a little bit here. Wow, she's doing real good. Every bed she's made has been excellent. Right. You go build that there. These are probably good for now. We don't have to worry about rebuilding those right now. All right, Rubinette, uh, can you not do any research right now? I think your focus is on smelting. We got to turn smelting off if you want, if we want you to focus on doing research. It right, looks like we got a little party going on over there. Furniture wise, let's build a shelf. We'll make it out of granite. That's fine. Uh, you know, we'll put the hitching spot over there. Certainly less than ideal. Why are they gathering out here? Right, we'll build a shelf here. We'll make sure to put the um, EMP stuff there. Uh, we can't research while this is going on. Oh, apparently we could. That must not have been a more advanced research. All right, so we got that all done. What else do we want to get? All right, let's do sterile materials. We got all the way up to advanced fabrication. We just can't actually do it yet. Right, let's get prosthetics done. Did we get, um, what you call it? The, uh, geothermal power, probably better to get that. We have a geothermal power, uh, right by our base. So it would be quite good to get that if we can. I think we're out of food, which is not good. 
This has 13 days left. We can make some shells now, though. So let's focus on that. Do until we have 20. Probably best to get the MP grenades first because we know we're going to need those. And then let's get a granite shelf up over here. And this is ultimately going to be where we keep our barrels and our, uh, what you call it? It looks like we're finally focusing on getting some of this wood chopped. Just a good bed. Let's go ahead and just uh, deconstruct that. Get rid of this torch. Don't need that anymore. All right, clear this off. We're going to want or shells, all mortar shells, and then we're going to want reinforced barrels to be here. These are going to be important priorities, so they'll haul it there first. And then we do want one of these built in this room here. We can deconstruct this one because th this one is the only one that actually matters. Actually, it doesn't even matter. We just needed it for that one spot. Let's go ahead and deconstruct that. We can build a copy here, build a copy here. Once that's done, and then this one's the only one that actually matters. All right, so the flare is ending. All right, this is an appropriate pillbox now officially and everybody's running back in there lots of potential starvation here which is not good how can i deal with the food situation well we can definitely go hunt a meteor animal one of mine it is i have to be careful about what animals are mine versus what animals are in the wild there are a couple rhinos up here I think we are going to try to kill a couple for food. All right, we'll mark these for hunting. You can melee it to death. Really? Nobody's going to finish hunting and kill that thing? All right, let's haul it down there, make this into food, and then at least our people will be fed. Crap, I did not want to do this. Uh, this should be EMP grenades and nothing else. Set that to important. Did we make EMP grenades or no? Thought they were on the list ahead of the explosive shells. They were. All right, you guys, everybody over here. We'll release you one at a time as we make the the meals. All right, well, you got to eat too. All right, everybody's mood should be increasing now. Well, it's good to know we can always just grab two rhinos from the wild and that'll help us get by. Uh, we are going to have to do something about the food situation here. Go ahead and pop simple meals on is this considered important this is critical move this to important and move this to critical i think we got some shells building up here which is nice all right our animals should be able to eat some of this help them not starve to death we'll have a couple hungry pen animals all right did we make those emps or no unfinished cool well we at least got one we have to we have to mortar this out of the way. Definitely more concerned about this one than I am this one. I'm pretty sure this one never runs out of mortar shells. It just goes forever. And now that this is officially built, we actually stand a chance over here of uh, defending our territory. All right, should be done with uh, needing simple meals over here. It looks like we've done a pretty good job of smelting down a bunch of these uh, weapons that are not really needed anymore. Got some wood in the base now. I do think I want Jiang uh, to go on a little trip. But to take one of these animals that is not quite yet trained. Paprik is the only one that is trained, so we don't want to take them. Is there anything left to smelt? Yeah, it looks like we're down to just smelting random metals so let's go ahead and flick the switch on that make sure we're consolidating everything we need to i don't want to use up all the chem fuel all right cheeto maybe get back to making those emp grenades It'd be nice to have at least two before we wake these guys up because that um probably help a fair amount this is 1.3 days till it activates this is nine hours i'm not worried about this activating because we could for the most part, just ignore this. I'm definitely a lot more worried about this one up here. Although, Flashstorm 
a fire burning one of these items will cause them to all come in and attack. So that is definitely also a concern. Hoping auto rain will come along and put that out. Because if any of this stuff burns and breaks, they'll all be coming after me. The good thing is these are all like very heavily turrets. So we're probably okay. All right. They're attacking the elephants. Let's bring them into the indoor pen. Uh, definitely worried about this fence burning down. That will make them attack. Come on, auto rain. Where are you? Oh, no. Don't do that. All right. Can you arrest him before he breaks the components? Uh, yeah, that would have been super bad. I'm shocked the auto rain has not happened yet. I would have thought for sure by now it would have. Uh oh, oh, they're coming. Uh, you actually have some shooting skill. It probably would have been nicer for you to have that. All right. He's going to get mauled for no reason other than he's an idiot. All right. Well, we kind of knew that was going to happen. Can you equip this assault rifle? I don't know if we're going to do enough damage in the time we got. But it'd be nice if we did. All right, you're berserk because you're badly malnourished. Not much I could do about that. Rubinette, if you could snap out of it, we could really use your help over here. And Shalaki. We're actually holding together fairly well. Not perfect, but okay for what the situation we're dealing with right now. And the level of skill we don't have. All right, we definitely have to do something to this guy. All right, we're doing a fair amount of damage. All right, much to my surprise, we actually pulled that off. Don't know how. Now these are going to assemble, which is a problem. You're going to break this and you're going to escape. Do we have any animals on the map anywhere that's uh, reachable? Like rhinos or elephants. You're all the way down here. You guys are all the way over here. Definitely use those for some meat, though. Uh, let's make sure our home area is not uh, that close. I don't want to accidentally get shot at by something like this. Right, Anfisa, you are going to have to come down here. And I'm very worried about killing these elephants. Uh, just because I think they might all come after me. Wait, are you? You're wild. I can just take you out. And you're right there. All right, you're going to go butcher, and then we can cook, and then we're good to go. Cheeto. All right, everybody's been fed. Except for a prisoner, but you'll be fine. All right, let them get some sleep. They're going to need it because this is going to wake up any minute now. Then we're going to have to deal with that, too. I mean, in a way, I'm grateful that it at least burned this all down. But these will be assembling mechs as well. So we're going to have to deal with six mechs every time an assembly happens. Although, what I could do, force fire on some targets over there. Who's our best shooters? Raven's Catatonic. Rubinette, you're next best, but you're also melting down. Oh, you're actually pretty good shape. Do we seriously use a tox shell? I mean, the good thing is I didn't realize there was a shield there, so it would have been kind of wasteful to not do that. Uh, let's try to take this guy out. Oh, they got a shield over there, too? I didn't see the shield. Well, fooey. Never mind, then. Uh, let's let the animals outside for a little bit just so they can go get some food. I think they're eating our food predominantly. Which is unfortunate. Go eat something else, you dum dums. Man, if we could actually harvest all this before the mechs come after us. Nope, they're coming now. You gotta come down here. I was hoping we might be able to repair that. Ah, crap. All right, animals gotta go inside. All right, Paprika's gonna get downed if not killed. All right, once they're in there, we'll go ahead and rescue Paprika. Nope, we'll go around this way. Oh, Paprika's up and walking. Don't know how you're doing that. 
Come on, let's get inside. What are you doing? All right, whatever. All right, I want to haul as much rice as I can. You never know when we're going to not be able to get it. I do some of these repairs too. This wall in particular needs to be repaired. Right, 0.4 days. Got another assembly going on there. This is 8.2 days before this mortar starts firing off. No assemblies over here, so that's good. Kind of hoping a human raid comes and I could just lock my doors and let them duke each other out. Right, let's try to haul in what we can. Well, at least we're getting some free steel out of this. All right, we got another chunk of uh, defending coming in. Go get over here. Make sure we're ready to go. I'm a little worried about them running over there. We need to get like a, a door or something over here. Uh, that is not held open. We need to hold that open. This door is lit up too. Level one shooting? Yikes. I mean, we'll get better over time, but my goodness. All right, that's free and clear. How many more assemblies do we have? One more. And then this becomes just an inert pile of garbage with the exception of the psychic droner. I need to figure out how I'm going to take that out. I could probably loop around from back here. This will fire on us, but only once. And then you'll be able to like sneak into here and then shoot it. Hopefully. All right, good. We got some repairs going on over here. That was much needed. Uh, animals, let's get you back outside so that you can go eat what food you need to eat. These guys are probably getting pretty hungry or will be at some point relatively soon. The CMP grenade is almost done. Oh, is it because your dementia? Got it. Uh, you're 0.6 days from spawning, so I think I'll just wait for that next spawn to happen before I try to go over there and do anything about it. Uh... How long do we have on this field? All right, this is probably not going to end. Ah, they might, they might thread the needle. They might actually come in here and be able to... Is there going to be two above for these guys and two below for these guys? I think. This dumb elephant's the only one that is going to potentially have any issues. All right, eventually this elephant's going to get knocked out. Hopefully it'll be a little closer to our base when it happens. Holy cow. All right, hopefully they make it down here. I kind of want to build a door right here. So we have a way to get out if we need to. Can we do it in the next 0.3 days though? That's the question. What if I could sell the one that has dementia and then let it get attacked by the... And then maybe they'll go raid it. I don't know. I don't want violence disabled, that's for sure. I enhanced could be cool. Do I have super heal already? Anti enhanced. Oh, uh, that's my stuff, not their stuff. That's if I'm gonna sell it to them. Okay. So they don't have anything worth anything really. Mm, bionic arm. That's if we want to sell it. We could sell these elephant tusks. Yeah. Outside of that, there's really nothing I. Get some of these components, but there's nothing I could sell to uh, provide enough value to buy those things. I guess we'll just sell the uh, sell the elephant horns, and then maybe I can get them in a fight. Yeah, this is spawning in point three days. Let's see if I can go pick a fight. Uh, you know what? I should probably make sure this gets done first. Then I could try getting a fight. All right, Rubinet is a construction guy. Why would you start and then stop? Yeah, that's not uh, not too smart there, buddy. Well, with any luck, you'll uh, make it out of there in one piece. All right, we seem to be doing okay here. Let's see if we can get up here and cause a ruckus. We shoot something? All right, will they come after me? All right, let's try shooting them again. All right, I want all my people inside. All right, they are engaging. Let them fight a little fight. I mean, they're not going to be too happy by the time this is all done. That's for sure. Right, let's disallow access to that door because that's just going to create problems. I can already feel that. Um, where are we weapons wise? Uh, that's a good quality assault rifle. We should probably go equip that one. Wow. So are they still going to push in on us? I think they are. 
No, they're retreating. But these other mechs got assembled, so... Let's see how that goes. Did, we, did they do any damage to these guys? Not really. I mean, a little bit. I still don't see the shield here. That's what I'm struggling with. Where's the shield? Oh, crap. I gotta throw these. Really? You gotta mess with the shelf right now? That's what you're... All right, well, that takes care of those. Now, the question is, can I mortar over here? Is that mortar down right now? Or the shield down right now? It looks like it might be. All right, he'll probably live. Some nice meals out of it. That's kind of good. All right, once this is done, we will sneak around back here and try to take out this psychic droner. Don't really care much about the turrets. Uh, What's his recruitment status? He's getting close. It's not quite there, but he's getting close. That's a monument. Not worried about that. Where are you going? All right, you get out of there. I don't know why you decided to go after a pig. I mean, it's free food. I get it, but... All right, animals, you can go back outside for a little while. Nothing's immediately coming after you. Though I do have to figure out this part. All right, Chalaki and Raven are my two people. Really? All right, let's try to get Chalaki healed up. No, you don't want to lay down, huh? Right, let's clear that off. We want this to just be... Kibble. Really? Must be some hungry animals. All right, we'll mark those for hunting. And then we should be fine. Hopefully. Field's still up. Okay. They just immediately spawned right on top of them. All right, let's get all of our animals into our pen. All right, is he going to knock out sometime soon? I hope. Uh, let's tend to him while he's standing, I guess. Oh, it died from infection, maybe? Yes, infection. All right, well, here we go. They're actually funneling in, surprisingly. The good news is once that gets wiped out, we can go over here and take this out pretty easily. Of course, we'll wait a, just, a, just a smidge. All right, this is the easy stuff. I'm worried about the centipedes, especially three of them. That's when things get much, much worse for me. All right, first centipedes here. The good thing is they are a little bit spaced out. So it's not all at the same exact time. All right, one down. A granite door is going to go really soon. All right, this guy's probably dead. Yep, there we go. Now, the unfortunate thing is this guy was stunned. I mean, we're doing fine on damage, but... All right, there we go. All right, Chalaki, you are still having a breakdown... Your infection is getting worse instead of better. All right, so that took out most of the stuff that matters, although I do want to get the Psychic Droner taken out. It isn't initiated yet. I also want to take this Mortar out, because that's going to be the biggest problem. Oh, good. Multiple people have the flu now. That's just great. All right, well, the good news is the animals can go back outside because there is no benefit to them not being outside at this point we don't have any more mechs attacking all right let's try to just recover a little bit and then we will worry about um going after the other stuff next hungry pet animals there's not much i can do about that that's just gonna have to wait a little bit all right, we can allow oh what did you break a shelf all right well you broke a shelf that's not the end of the world i guess uh I don't think we necessarily need to worry about this right now. But in a couple days, we might consider it. All right, let's strip these all while they're outside. That's just less hauling we have to do. Right, let's strip all these. There we go. All right, the hope is that we can make some kibble out of this as well. Oh, no, we don't want we don't want any tainted stuff over here. All right, now I think I, I, I keep forgetting the order of this, but do we select that and then that and then link no this and then this unlink link okay so they're all part of this now we shouldn't be hauling tainted goods over to there anymore definitely need some kibble so hopefully we can get working on that all right we got some kibble churning out now hopefully that'll help with feeding the animals a little bit oh crap boom lope went boom 
Can we please haul some of this kibble over there? It won't blow up if they're fed. All right. Our animals are no longer starving to death. And reinstall this stuff over here. It doesn't need to be in this room anymore. And then we need to go beat up some of this stuff over here. There's still some like food and stuff we can get off of this stuff. And that initializes in a couple days. So we want to definitely make sure we're taking that out. Luna hit a trap. That's not good. Well, let's not rebuild that trap. How's that sound? All right, maybe we can get that stuff repaired as well. Try to haul back what we can. I don't know if this will survive at all. Yeah, but if we can churn out at least a couple before this rots, that would be great. Oh, come on. I put a piece over there. Perfect. We managed to use almost all of it up. All right, let's clear your prioritized work. And then I think what we're going to need to do is get over there and destroy this stuff before it gets too out of hand. And then definitely get down here and destroy this before it turns on. And then we're going to call an episode because I feel like this one's drug on for uh, quite a while. Trying to let them replant. All right, Crucis has joined us. Let's go ahead and add him to the mix. He is good at doctoring, which is always a good thing to have, given the fact that we always seem to need a doctor. Uh, good at mining. We'll, we'll leave him at low, low priority growing and plant cutting. Uh, let's go to the schedule and make sure that we have everybody set correctly. I think at this point, we probably have industrial medicine, right? Is that what we're doing? No, we're not making medicine yet. We probably could, but we're not. All right, you can get an assault rifle for sure. All right, let's draft and let's get up here. We'll try and run it. All right, we definitely can throw an EMP over there. All right, let's unforbid everything. All right, I imagine we can scoop up some of this food while we're up here. The one thing is, though, I do not want um, this stuff being unforbidden necessarily. Let's go ahead and re-forbid that, because I don't want to accidentally get in there. Uh, if you're going to run past it, you might as well haul some stuff over here, my friend. Can you not haul? Must have already been targeted for for them. Only one person at a time can deal with that? That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, What's going on with you, buddy? Well, that was a little bit of a closer call than I would have cared for it to be. All right, got all that rice hauled away. Get everybody tended up, and then we will go ahead and head down here and take this out before it activates. We'll leave everything else. We'll just take that out in particular. Holy cow. Yeah, those guys probably shouldn't have tried to leave that direction. Although, it would be good to grab some of this stuff. Jump packs. I mean, it's raining. If there ever was a time to try to sneak through a bunch of fire... And that wall more than anything needed to be repaired. And there's there's a door under here somewhere that needs to be repaired too. Yeah. 19%. That's terrible. Oh crap. Raven, what are you doing down here? Are you trying to tame these elephants? Yeah, let's uh let's not do that right now. Alright, everybody over here. We're gonna try to sneak around back here and attack this thing. You're fine. You're just slowly recovering. All right, we're going to go all the way around. We have to wait for everybody to get there. All right, is that shield the aerial one? I think it is. I just got to kill this. I don't care about anything else. All right, let's everybody get back out of there. We can worry about getting that stuff later on. I mean, we'll lose the components, but that's not the end of the world. Uh, let's rescue Luna. Nope, nope, this way. Come on. All right, Jean, come on up here. You're going to do some tending. All right, tend to Luna. Right, you're going to head over this way. Uh, I don't know what you think you're doing, but you are going to tend to her without medicine. All right, let's see. Can we be able to pick that up? All right, I don't know what you think you're doing over there, buddy, but you are going to be an idiot, aren't you? You're just going to go right into the field of fire. Ah. Uh... Yeah, let's turn that off. All right, let's get Luna inside, and then hopefully we can do some tending before everybody bleeds to death. You're 20 hours. You're good. 
All right, well, we at least got that destroyed, so we don't have to worry about that. There's a ton of turrets over here, but I'll let um, whatever our next raid is, I'll, I'll let that take care of that. So I'm going to go ahead and call an episode there. I feel like this episode has gone on way too long. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to see more content in the future. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.